أنت عليهم بوكيل. So Allah سبحانه وتعالى didn't say to Muhammad these Quraysh your folk you should make you should guide them. I want you successful in this mission. I want every Qurayshi, every single man in Quraysh should believe in me. Do whatever you can. Do the best and make them all believing. No. Allah Azza wa Jal didn't give such a mission to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says to him, Inna alayka illa al Your duty is only to convey. Inna alayka illa There is no other mission for you except conveying the message. Inna alayka illa al Or in another ayah, he says, Innama anta nadir. But you are only a burner. إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ نَذِيرٌ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَكِيلٌ Allah is the one who is trustee over all things. He is the one who is manager over all things. He is the one who rules everything. He is the one who distributes the guidance between his servants. And he gives the guidance for the person, for the individual whom he deserves that guidance because Allah Azza wa Jal knows everything he is not like the Prophet Sallallahu he is not a mankind he knows everything and this is very important that the, guy, the most important thing in the hand of the one who knows everything it means that there will be a very uh, uh, important justice there will be full justice Allah Azza wa Jalla will give guidance for every single individual who uh, deserve that guidance because he knows everyone. But if the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam charged with that ability to give the guidance to the people, he would, he would give the guidance first of all to his uncle because he was loving him. He wanted him to be a mu'min. He, did, uh, he didn't uh, know that his uncle do not deserve to be guided he doesn't he didn't want to be guided he closed himself to the truth he couldn't acknowledge the oneness of all uh, the oneness of the Creator the oneness of God so uh, this the first important and the sole important thing in the universe is the God the Creator the creator of all things if someone is the uncle of the prophet but do not acknowledge the creator what's the point what's the meaning of that person if he is the enemy of Allah Azza wa Jal, what's the point of being the uncle of the prophet nothing important with him if he is enemy of Allah Azza wa Jal. so we should realize that the sole, sole important thing, the sole important value is the, the acknowledgement of the only one God. We are, also we are following the Prophet وسلم, only for our loving Allah Azza wa Jal. يقول, إن كنتم تحبون الله فاتبعوني. Allah says in Quran or he helped the Prophet وسلم, to say in kuntum tuhibbun Allah, if you love Allah, then follow me. In order to Allah, in order uh, to Allah loves you. Fittabi'uni yuhbibkum Allah. If you follow me, then Allah Azza wa Jal will love you too. This is the reason for us when we are following the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we should we we should distinguish uh, the important, the most important and the sole important thing in this life and he is our creator we love him and everything for him and he has sent a messenger and he, he sent the truth with uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we accepted it when we realized the truth he could send someone else we would believe in him too it's not important for us the name of the prophets it's not important for us, the nations, uh, the ethnic of the prophets. 
It's not important. The important thing is the truth. Al-Haq. فَمَنِ اِهْتَدَى فَلِنَفْسِهِ So, who looks for the truth, then he is doing something for himself. فَلِنَفْسِهِ وَمَنْ ضَلَّ And who goes astray? فَإِنَّمَا يَضِلُّ عَلَيْهَا It means that he goes astray only for his own detriment, for his own soul, loss. وَمَا أَنْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ بِوَكِيلٍ Oh Muhammad, you are not a trustee, you are not a manager over them. Understand the mission of the Prophet. He is not a manager over the servants of Allah Azza wa Jal. He is only a caller. He is only a, warn a warner. إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ نَذِيرٌ You are only a warner. وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَكِيلٍ And Allah is the one who is behind everything. Allah is the power who is behind every action. And Allah is the one who makes every uh, one or everything successful in his action uh, or unsuccessful. He, if he gives you the successful, you can do something. Or if he gives you not, you cannot do. He is the wakil of all things. If you look for the truth, he will show the truth for you. If you do not look for the truth, if you neglect them, then you want to say to Allah Azza wa Jal, please, O oh Allah, lead me to, uh, to astray. Please, Allah Azza wa Jal, I do not want the truth. Then the rule of Allah Azza wa Jal, giving guidance for the people who looks for the guidance and uh, send astray the people who wants to go to astray. وَمَنْ ضَلَّ فَإِنَّمَا يَضِلُّ عَلَيْهَا وَمَا أَنْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ بِوَكِّيلٍ In another ayah, Allah Azza wa Jal says, قُلْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ قُلْ أَطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولِ فَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْ If you turn away, if you turn away from uh, acknowledge the oneness of Allah Azza wa Jal and accept the message of Allah Azza wa Jal, if you turn away from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from the truth, then, if you, if you refuse him, you should know that فَإِنَّمَا عَلَيْهِ مَا حُمِّلَ The Prophet is only responsible with that which he, which he has been charged. فَإِنَّمَا عَلَيْهِ مَا حُمِّلَ Allah Azza wa Jalla will not ask him why didn't that person believe in me? If the Prophet وسلم, conveyed the message then he complete his mission. Then he did what he has been charged. Allah Azza wa Jalla will reward him. He will not say to him, Why didn't that person believe in me? فَإِنَّمَا عَلَيْهِ مَا حُمِّلَ Then he is only responsible with that uh, which he has been charged. فَإِنَّمَا عَلَيْهِ مَا حُمِّلَ وَعَلَيْكُمْ مَا حُمِّلْتُمْ And you will have been responsible with that which you have been charged. Allah Azza wa Jal will ask you why you didn't believe in me even though I have showed you the truth, although I have showed you the truth, you noticed them, why didn't you believe? Allah Azza wa Jal will uh, take to account the person himself and not the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam وَمَا أَنْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ بِوَكِيلٍ You are not a trustee over the servants. And now let's begin the ayah number 42. الله يتوفى الأنفس حين موتها Allah is the one who takes the souls. الله يتوفى الأنفس The كلمة وفاة is something uh, different from death. Yetawaffa can be used for death, but it also can be used for something else. And we will see uh, this uh, in the ayah number 42, in this ayah. At the beginning, Allah Azza wa Jal says, Allah yetawaffa al-anfusa hina mawtiha. Allah takes the souls uh, of the people at the moment of their death, حين موتها. So, كلمة وفاة, the word وفاة, 
uh, Allah Azza wa Jalla uh, do it for the people, for the souls when they are dying. So when you die, at the same time, Allah Azza wa Jalla making you wafa. Allah hu yatawaffa al-anfusa hina mawtiha takes your soul. Allah hu yatawaffa al-anfusa hina mawtiha. Okay. Walati lam tamut, but the ones, the souls, uh, do not die, that die not, lam tamut fi manamiha. Allah takes their souls also, but fi manamiha, in their sleeps, uh, in their beds. والتي لم تمت في منامها. So if you die or if you do not die, Allah عز وجل take your soul away every day, every moment uh, He can take your soul. But uh, when you die, He takes it uh, at the la for the last time. الله يتوفى الأنفس حين موتها. It's the end of the life, and Allah عز وجل takes the soul. Uh, at that moment Allah يَتَوَفَّ الْأَنْفُسَ حِنَّ مَوْتِهَا and in a, uh, another uh, thing in the ayah that Allah uh, defining himself that he is the one who يَتَوَفَّ الْأَنْفُسَ who takes the souls Allah يَتَوَفَّ الْأَنْفُسَ حِنَّ مَوْتِهَا so we believe that the one who created us he is the one uh, who brings life and he is the one who causes death. Yuhi wa yumit. He is the one who causes death and he is the one who brings life. Yuhi wa yumit wa huwa ala kulli shayin wa qadir. We define him through these actions because we didn't, we didn't know anyone, any, him, uh, any mankind can do these things like Allah Azza wa Jal. Everyone every man, every human, every uh, human being uh, wants uh, to sleep, needs to sleep. So Allah, who gives him the sleep? And who created him at the first hand? These are the basic actions in this life. And the answer in every basic action in this life, the answer is Allah Azza wa Jal. Who created, who brings life, who causes death. And this ayah 42 starts with the, uh, the one who does. Allah who yatawaffa al-anfus. Allah, it is Allah who takes away the souls. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين. ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته